Hi all, welcome to the complete JavaScript beginner tutorial by Code Fiction. In this video, we will discuss what is JavaScript, why you should learn JavaScript and its importance. Now, let's start with what is JavaScript. It is one of the most popular scripting language for web pages. So that would be a one line definition for JavaScript. And here is the formal definition for JavaScript from MDN official documentation. MDN stands for Mozilla Developer Network. They provide official documentation for JavaScript. I have given the JavaScript guide link in video description. JavaScript is a lightweight, interpreted or just-in-time compiled programming language with first-class functions. Here, the language is defined with its features, and that's how any programming language is defined. In addition to those features, you could say JavaScript is prototype-based, multi-paradigm, dynamically-typed language. Now, this video is not enough to explain these features here, or some of you may not understand all of them without knowing supporting basics. So, we will be discussing each of them in appropriate future sections of this course. Brendan Aik invented JavaScript in 1995 for adding functionality or behaviors to a website frontend along with HTML and CSS. After that, it evolved a lot into current modern JavaScript. We could discuss that in a bit. Now, let's get familiar with these terms frontend or client side, server side, HTML and CSS. After that, we can discuss what JavaScript does in practical. Now, when it comes to a web application, there are two main sites, server side and client side, or you could say frontend. For example, considering the current context, you are watching this YouTube video from your computer or from mobile or using any other device. So everything happening on your device is called client side or frontend. It includes whatever you see, such as images, text, video, and rest of the elements and their actions like click, scrolling, seeking, everything is summed up into one word, client side. On the other end, we have server side. To work a website, we need both client side and server side. As we mentioned above, visible parts of a website is called client side. But that's not all. Everything is processed and fetched from server side. It will be a group of one or more computers specially made for handling multiple requests at a given time. In most of the case, to watch a YouTube video, a request with this URL pattern is used. YouTube.com forward slash watch question mark then through vSimple will be passing video ID. In YouTube, there are large number of videos are uploaded. All of them will be stored in a server machine out of them, we are watching a single video with the given video ID. So when we use this URL at YouTube server side, it will search for the video with given ID along with its metadata and statistics like number of views, likes, dislikes, and channel details, etc. and etc. All of this data along with video is returned in response and displayed within our device or client side. So I hope you understood what is client side and server side with this request and response example. Now let's briefly explain HTML and CSS for newbies. HTML is a markup language so it uses tags to define or add elements within a web page. Each element on a web page like paragraph, image, link or hyperlink, video, etc. are displayed with corresponding tags. So HTML defines structure of a web page. Now we have CSS. It is a style sheet language used to describe presentation of a web page and elements within it, like font size, alignment, font color, background color, etc. Now what else to do for JavaScript? Making a web page user interactive is done by JavaScript. Web page with only HTML and CSS is like a radio. Radio is made only to hear what they broadcast. Same with website with only HTML and CSS. We can only see the HTML elements with applied CSS styles. User interactions like that you see in current web pages is not possible without JavaScript. 
For example, if you click on YouTube like button, it will update the like count and changes the thumbs up button appearance. And same with the subscribe button also. If you have any doubt, try them now. If you are not a subscriber already, I will appreciate that. YouTube share button, posting comments without reloading the page, showing search suggestions, seeking through video seek bar, etc. are made possible with JavaScript. Now, can you imagine websites like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. without these user interactions offered by JavaScript? Of course not. So in short, HTML, CSS and JavaScript are the essential building blocks of a website. Where HTML structures the website, CSS controls the page appearance and JavaScript adds functionality or behaviors to its elements. So far we have discussed JavaScript in web development. Even though JavaScript was initially created to work with front-end HTML and CSS, nowadays JavaScript is used almost everywhere. Like in web design along with HTML and CSS, JavaScript front-end frameworks like React, Angular, Vue.js makes web development easier and faster. Nowadays these frameworks are widely used in web development. Node.js uses JavaScript for creating API at server side which handles requests from user as we mentioned above for YouTube server. React Native and Ionic are two JavaScript frameworks for creating hybrid mobile applications. Even desktop application can be built with Electron framework using JavaScript. Internet of Things or IoT and Artificial Intelligence uses JavaScript with these frameworks like TensorFlow.js, Cyclone, Favor, etc. Even though HTML, CSS and JavaScript are essential blocks for web development, nowadays JavaScript is widely used through these frameworks and libraries. That's not the case with HTML and CSS, they are only used for web designing. I hope you understood the importance of learning JavaScript. JavaScript is everywhere you can't run away from it. Now if you know the programming language Java already, you might be having this question. Is there any similarity between Java and JavaScript? Java has nothing to do with JavaScript. It's just the word Java in JavaScript. The word Java in JavaScript is used because of its hype during the initial period of JavaScript invention. It's like car and carpet as mentioned in this Stack Overflow answer here. Along with this tutorial, there is a project for JavaScript nodes in JavaScript itself. GitHub link given below in video description and inside the first comment of this video. That's all for this video. In next session, we'll discuss JavaScript engine and its version history. To watch rest of the videos from this series, I have given the playlist link in video description and inside the first comment of this video. If you have any doubts, please ask them in comment section below along with the hashtag JSQuestion or ask them in our Discord community. Link is given in video description. Above all, try to google the question first. For more awesome JavaScript videos like this, please be subscribed to God of Fiction. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. See you in next session.